So I'm headed back to Detroit in a couple of weeks to visit family for the holiday season. I've been a one bag traveler for the last several years, so I choose the items I decide to bring very carefully. And this is everything I need for about a week long trip to have fun and still be able to get some work done. So let's get this all packed up. The bag we're going to be using is the Packed One Minimalist Travel Bag. I received this a while back and actually did a review on it as well. You can check out that link if you're interested. Um, and on that note actually too, for the holiday weekend, Packed is going to have all of their bags 15% off. Not a sponsor, but they did provide me an affiliate link, so head over and check it out if you've been meaning to pick one up. They don't typically go on sales very often, so it's a great deal to grab one if you are in the market. So starting off packing up all of the clothes here, I'm bringing one pair of extra jeans. I've got one sweatshirt and two t-shirts and one button-up shirt. Now I like to keep this very light. I usually will get two to three wears out of my shirts and I'll only have two pairs of pants for the week. That has been more than enough. If you're not re-wearing your jeans multiple times, you're doing it wrong. This is actually a laundry bag that Pact gives with their travel bag. So I'm gonna bring this to be able to keep any dirty clothes and laundry in. Just gonna stick that right on the bottom there. Then I have my underwear. These are Tommy John, if you're not familiar. They're the greatest underwear I've ever worn. Highly, highly recommend them. Um, I've had these for about four years now and they're still in like perfect condition. These are just some basic black athletic socks. I like the longer ones to wear with pants. A pair of gym shorts to wear as pajamas while I'm there. And a couple of handkerchiefs. I am a huge fan of handkerchiefs. I always have allergies, so it's a great way to uh, reduce my tissue usage. So that's everything in my clothing half here. So I'm gonna flip this around here really Really quickly so this is the other half um, this is empty right now but it's actually a camera cube that houses my DSLR and two lenses and extra batteries and accessories all in this little thing it's waterproof super awesome it's like 12 bucks I think on Amazon I'll put a link in the description if you want to see it so I've got that there I have this Rode microphone bag repurposed as a toiletry bag I've got my liquids here Nothing too special, this is just a um, free hotel shampoo, toothpaste, deodorant, and body wash. I have tried in the past to go completely liquid free using the uh, crystal deodorant and dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is really amazing. I would check that out if, um, if you were looking for alternatives, but I have not found any crystal deodorants that do the job very well, so I am stuck back with the liquids for now. And uh, next up we have my hydro flask. I wish there was an exterior water bottle holder in this bag, but no big deal, it uh, does not have one. So I'm gonna flip this around here, pack up my laptop. I've got my 2018 MacBook Pro. I'm still gonna need to get some work done while I'm on this trip, unfortunately. Part of the joys of small business ownership, you're always kind of on the clock to some extent. So it does pack up in here and uh, that folds that up there. Let me flip this and get this zipped up. Next up, we're going to go through kind of some of my electronics and other items. Flipping this out here, this is their little TSA pocket. Uh, it's come in handy. You can just keep like all of your basic pocket items so you're not having to fumble around with them when you're going through the TSA. That is where those go. So I just have my wallet, my AirPods, and my phone. Put that back in there. Packing up here, I just have my MacBook charger. This is just a little Velcro strip. You can buy these by the hundred for a few bucks on Amazon. And then I just have my iPhone and AirPod charger here. I'm gonna stick that in there. And uh, this is my portable hard drive for getting work and editing done. It's the Samsung T5 SSD. They're amazing, they're durable, they're fast, uh, would highly recommend. And uh, in this other compartment here, I like to keep this external battery bank. Uh, this is the Anchor PowerCore 2 Slim. It's 10,000 milliamps. Um, according to the Ultralight subreddit, this is the best um, capacity per weight 
for any batteries. I think that is still the case. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments though. I'm just gonna stick that in there. So I've got all of my electronics on this side compartment here for quicker access once I get on the plane. But that is everything. Nice and simple carry. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think. But thank you all so much for watching. Have a great holiday season and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.